So I'm uploading this video right now, and I hope uh, those who are watching this video right now know that we just crossed one million subscription in our Shomus Biology YouTube channel. I thank you very, very much. Thank you, everyone, every single viewers who ever watched Shomus Biology, who ever shared our videos, liked our videos, and loved us so much for these years. And it is not; it will never be possible without your support. And we thank you from core of our heart. And I, I like to thank my wife Chandri Mabachi to be there with me throughout this last seven or eight years. Nobody was there when I was nobody. She was there when I was starting the channel. She was there, and when Shomus Bali reached one million subscription, she is there. And I like to have a wife like that, and and all my family members there uh, because most of them don't even well understood about this idea. Still, my uh, family and many many of my relatives don't even know what I do. Uh, it's very difficult to to make them understand what we do, but uh, those all uh, of my followers who stay there with me throughout this time, all my coaching students, every single person who likes Shomus Biology, every single person who dislikes Shomus Biology and put a negative comment, I especially thank them because for your comment we get to improve ourselves. I get to improve our teaching. I get to improve my teaching. I get to improve my communication skills. to share so thank you thank you thank you very much i'm running out of word to what to say about this and today i will do celebration and we'll do celebration with few people who are at core with us and one of them is my wife and one of them is one of my brother and we all together uh, will celebrate it will uh, you know it's a lot it's still the lockdown is there so we cannot go outside and celebrate still we are trying to celebrate it inside and i'm not going to put any live video due to that issue I'll, i i cannot put it right now that's why i recorded this video earlier now sharing it with you so thank you very very much we are thanking all of you from the bottom of our heart as a shomus biology team to help us throughout this and i believe you are with your help we can reach 10 million very soon so stay with us and also love us like the way you did from the beginning and also tell us more about what kind of videos you want to see in the future times so that we keep making those videos because remember shomus biology is not only a coaching institute it's primarily is a medium of sharing biological science a medium for understanding life science a medium to share the biological science as well as to popularize biological science in india and throughout the world and to popularize biological research and make it mainstream in india and in this today's video i am going to share about a lot of information regarding this channel how it is created what it was my journey what it was like uh, what was my struggle how i get there when i get there and what i got from youtube uh, and many more things and many more questions that you have asked for so long duration i am going to share all these things with you in this video so this video is going to be big enough uh, so if you like to watch it you can watch it completely i start youtube uh, during 2012 actually this channel is created in 2010 and with a different name the fun suman that you that was the name earlier uh, while i was in my graduation days i used to make short films with my friends and this channel actually youtube created naming that thing you know we are we have already uploaded five of of my short films that we did earlier and i was into theater and uh, and drama and all these things during college days i used to write i used to do magic shows and all these things so i created this channel to show all these things this is a fun fact i don't think uh, anyone knows till this point so we built it in 2010 i shared some videos there and then it was uh, there for five like two two more two years two three years then at the end of my graduation the third year of bsc in microbiology i started making videos and then i deleted the old videos which were those uh, comedy videos or those those short uh, short films i deleted those short films from this channel and i started uploading uh, the biological science videos and uh, that's how this channel is created uh, particularly is actually so technically the date create date of creation is 2010 but actually i started uploading videos from 2012 and then uh, i start to gain some notice or recognition from the followers from 2013 so there are these three separate time stamps so i still believe that you can say it's 2012 officially i started uploading this videos biological science videos in this channel 
that you know uh, while i was doing my graduation in microbiology i uh, start reading books and the books are really costly and i belong from a, a middle class family you cannot buy those books you know those large big copy books right now the indian versions are available for every single book but earlier back then uh, very few books are available in indian versions and still those versions costly are like 1800 2300 3, 3, 3500 so this where the price it's a huge price so i cannot afford those books and uh, reading from the ebook is not my thing i need to read it in the hard copies there were xerox books selling back then still it was sold in many places it is being selling in different places so at that point of time i decided that you know i need colored pictures to understand the biochemical pathways to understand the molecular mechanisms rdt and all these things so what i did back then is that i wanted to uh, get a, a a medium or something which can give me knowledge fast because i was involved with so many co curricular activities back then writing stories or uh, doing uh, drama making short films doing some magic shows and all these things so i got very little time for study actually so bsc first year second year i didn't even study much at all uh, but from the third year i suddenly uh, start to think like i need to do something steady in my life i cannot just continue with either writing or or do this or that i cannot do that like this so i i definitely need to uh start with uh, something you know uh, something really steady and that's when i discover the youtube videos because youtube videos back then there were channels you know right now you can only find in india if you search youtube videos you'll find indian youtube videos back then you whatever you search you will get the global videos so i got global videos and there are many channels particularly uh, i'll name few of the channels which influenced me i start reading from those channels and i saw that when i read those videos when i watch those videos it's a 10 minute video 15 minute video and it is saving a lot of my time you know when i start from uh, reading from the books it's taking 2 hours 3 hours the same concept i'm getting from 15 minutes video so i start watching the videos i start watching uc berkeley videos i start watching mit open courseware you know particularly i remember uh, professor randy shakman uh, was my teacher at that time when i uh, was looking into those videos about the membrane trafficking so he was uh, my guru you know never we never met or never talked about it or anything i mailed him once he didn't reply even he was a very busy person then in future he got the nobel prize later on so i was focused on all those different uh, instructors from mit open course where or uc berkeley i also take help of i biology where uh, dr satyeet mehra who is currently running as a head of ncbs i believe uh, currently about lipid draft so there are you know pioneers in different fields so i used to watch their lectures Uh, when i used to read the puram sensing i read it from the uh, from the lecture from dr bonnie bessler so i don't know whether you people know this name still there is because still nowadays it's always spoon feeding people don't search things correctly i study everything from uh, from the free materials whatever thing is in the in the internet i was there to scrap every single part of the internet and i found out channels very good channels like bozman science one of the channels which inspired me to make videos second is khan academy obviously khan academy because i was astonished by the idea that a fact that a single man from mit degree in mathematics and physics is teaching biology like a champion is teaching history like a champion geography like like a professional teacher so i thought one thing that you know if you have a teaching skill it doesn't matter whether you have to teach geography or history or life science or or physical science you can teach everything because that's an art so those channels influence me a lot how exactly this channel begins and why i start making this channel uh, as i said earlier that you know i used to watch different channels khan academy their i biology channel is there and there are also bozman science so these channels were there and there are also few channels which are not running uh, right now so i used to get benefits from those and i believed like whatever topic i'm preparing Uh, for the msc entrance examinations as well as uh, because you know at the time uh, frame i i had to do something you know i i, I don't have an idea to do even msc because uh, my family conditions uh, don't allow me to do msc at that moment uh, because i need to get a job fast okay so i decided almost i decided to go into medical representative field i decided to go into that i go for interview with rand baxi and I got to get a like like a offer of some some amount which was good back then as per the the standards. So I was almost like thinking of going into the medical representative and doing the sales job like that. I cannot afford MSc. 
and then you know uh, start i start making the videos as well so i thought like what it takes to just uh, give the entrance examination at least so whatever you know i take forms from three different places i, I go for the interview one is from the vidhan nagar college in uh, in west bengal all these college all these places are in west bengal because i never even thought of going outside of west bengal again for the family issues and all so i had to stay in west bengal so here we have this government college then i took uh, the form from st xavier's college kolkata and also took it from my own bsc college that is balakpur rashtrakuta shrinivas college as well as i go uh, for calcutta university so four different places i took the forms and i applied for the microbiology field as well i also applied for bhu but i never go for the inter, uh, for for the exam for bhu because the admit card came later uh, after the date of the exam date anyway that's a funny story so Uh, at that moment, I start recording the videos during that period of time. The gap between the MSc third year and, and uh, BSc third year and MSc first sem, and start making the videos and start sharing them. Now, why I start doing that is that you know when I, there are complex topics like cell cell cycle regulation and all. So immunology. So those complex topics, if I read them, and whenever I read, I always try to read uh, the way that I'm explaining something to someone. So. Whenever I'm reading something, I thought, like, why not I'm recording that same fact? In the future times, it will help me because my video will help me for revision. That's why what I did, I start making the videos using PowerPoints or else, you know, you, you can see my previous videos are all those Khan Academy type black screen videos using different colors. So I bought a pen tablet somehow, uh, the Ivor pen tablet. Earlier, it, it cost something eight hundred, eighteen hundred or something at that moment. So I start making the videos. Uh, and then in in future times during the exam i just watch those videos so it gets uh, refreshed in my mind so that way I, i this is the this is the whole thinking behind making the videos nothing regarding you know to teach someone or do anything like that i don't bother about that and meanwhile i did, i didn't even know that i can earn money from youtube with this process and then soon when i start making videos people start noticing the videos they are watching the videos they start commenting and if you see the old videos you will see a journey you know uh from 2013 to 2020 this is 7 or 8 years in this 8 years you will see a journey of a person uh, many people can cannot even recognize me back then so from that time till now you can see a, a journey of a boy who cannot speak english now still i am struggling but i try to uh speak english as much as i can but still from that moment of time uh through this journey you see that slow improvement over the time of time frame i can explain i had that uh, you know uh, capability to explain because you know uh, i i understood that because many people when watch the videos they always told that your way of explanation is good but you need to work on your communication skills and all so back then i thought like yeah i can explain uh, but i need to have a strong command over the language that i'm uh, i'm giving the lectures to. The thing is, the language back then was English because there is no Hindi videos, nothing like Hindi. These days, every single but everyone, in like every ten comments, there are eight comments. Sir, make the videos in Hindi. But back then, people don't even know that YouTube can exist with Hindi. It can only exist with English. And my audience is the whole globe, so I need to learn in English. And I was not from an English medium background. I was from my Bengali medium background. I was I don't know Hindi. I don't know English. so i only know bengali and if i share the videos in bengali then 80% or 90% of indian people don't even understand so how can i reach maximum people of the world so that's why i i had to you know continue making videos those videos whatever kind of videos good in english bad in english good in grammar bad in grammar doesn't matter i didn't stop i just start making videos i deleted almost 300 to 400 old videos for those reasons i make new copy of those videos and i uploaded them later on but i never stop i start making those videos so this is the main reason and again when i was in the msc's my my uh, fellow friends uh, they also want me like you know you explain well so why not you explain this or that for us so they also used to come to talk about you know enzyme math problems so just uh, explain this to me so what i did i also record the videos and i give them the videos you know these are the videos you can read from there and they started getting benefits few of them so they said yeah it's good so i shared this video again with the uh, youtube to them so that that's the way uh, this whole uh, video making and uploading in youtube begins never ever thought of making it as a channel as a profit making channel to get money to earn money i didn't even know any of that 
so i i knew about adsense uh, letter you know after even one and one and a half year i knew about that there is something called adsense and you can earn money from youtube so i applied for the adsense and then uh, i forget about it and uh, almost 5 6 months later a, a verification letter came from mountain view ca and i was shocked you know it, i don't even believe you know the, to make money i i tried many way to make money online there are different affiliate marketings there are different programs out there to make money and all those things but i didn't believe in any of that because i i lost thousands of rupees in those processes uh, earlier uh, so work from home and all those freelancing things so that's why i don't believe in that but when the letter came and it was from google actually so i opened the letter and there was a verification code and uh, then i remember that i i built something like i i created and opened uh, something called adsense so i just log in and even forget about the password if i just some on then reset the password go log in and put this verification code and after the verification i saw that something like 40 or 45 us dollar is there in that account and i still didn't believe like what is this you know and they say that this is the revenue that you earn from your youtube videos so i said yeah is it real or is again another joke or something you know it's something written in in there and it's never going to be the truth so i waited for it okay and they read, uh, they also have written that once you reach 100 dollar uh, barrier then we'll dispatch a check so i thought okay let's wait for 100 dollar barrier now that thing triggers you know so i start making more and more videos more and more videos to make it 100 it took me 3 months till to 4 months to reach that 100 Uh, dollar barrier once i reached that 100 dollar barrier one day they uh, in the adsense they said that you have issued a check this is the the check it will reach your country and your place it may take time so i thought okay still still i didn't believe in it so okay let's see what happens so i waited and waited and and after two weeks uh, or something i thought it's not going to come then after three week almost 21 to 22 days uh, later uh, then the postman came Uh, with this uh, letter from uh, another letter from YouTube, again from Mountain View CA. Uh, so I opened the letter just for curiosity, and that moment I I needed money, you know, because at that moment I I was doing some other jobs uh, to get my uh, pocket money. I never took much of a pocket money from my family, from my parents. So I was doing other jobs. I was repairing people's computer. doing their formatting their computer all these things i doing these things editing videos for some people so doing those things because i already knew about all this uh, from my video making skills so at that moment when i got that check i i opened that letter and found the check and that day you know that day was something you know i i will never forget in my life i vaguely remember i just came out from a uh, bath and just uh, brush my hair and then suddenly the peon came and give me this this is the something came and you have to sign i need to sign it and and collect it and open it up it's from google and it's the check of something 6700 rupees in inr the check is written in inr so still you know i thought like is it real is it the real check i can cash it it was from the city bank check so i didn't know anything about the check back then so what i did i took that check and i thought it was a city bank check so i need to go to city bank to cash it and there is no city bank branch in my this city in total in hubli this. district so i had to come to kolkata for it so kolkata is 25 kilometers 20 25 kilometers away from hubli so i need to come there so i was in the msc so i bunked my college i went to the city bank branch i knew where the branch is i was always going it was on the way uh, to my college so I go there and uh, i showed them this check you know this check came so i want to cash it and they all studying me something they all all are looking at me like why did you come here i said because this is city bank check so i need to come to city bank to cash it they said no it's an account pay check you can deposit to any bank where you have your account i already had my account at my local bank so i said yeah can it be cash in my local bank which is a different bank and they said yes you can cash it whatever bank account you have you can cash it I didn't believe it, so I again go to my local bank branch. On that day, coming back from uh, Kolkata, I go to that branch and and I ask them, "Can I cash it here?" And you know, these are government banks. How they behave? So their behavior was something like, you know, very rude and, and I don't know about this. I can't teach you this. 
uh, you need to know about all this they said me all these things but still i still i ask you no know, just tell me i will leave i just knowing this i say yeah you can you can cash it just fill this form and just deposit the check i say okay fine i fill the form deposit the check i said how many days will it take they said 3 uh, to 4 days I, okay okay fine i just deposit it and then i uh, go to again my regular life and after that actually that account was opened by on request to my father because my father's account uh, was in the, that bank and i regularly send my father to check and update my passbook to see whether that amount is reflected or not after 3 day uh, my father went and checked my passbook uh, and no nothing credited so i again thought that uh, may be a gimmick or something maybe it's not real then uh, again two more days later uh, father i was in the college my father called me and said yeah uh, 6700 something is credited so then i believed that yes you can man, uh, earn money online and this is a possibility and 6700 rupees i got uh, from the start of my channel it's it was something like 7 8 months so i thought like if i continue to make more and more videos uh not only i can share my videos not only it can enhance my knowledge of the subject but also i can earn money and then i started uh, putting more and more videos during my msc years uh in two years i uploaded 2000 videos i can't even imagine making that much video now i only make two videos a week barely now because i am involved in so many things right now so in two years i have almost uploaded 2000 videos and my college syllabus helped me to do that so whatever thing was present in the college the syllabus i just read them prepare them uh, i use small board i got I, i bought a small you know the from the first money that i got with that money i invested some of that to buy a webcam it was not a very good quality many students saw those videos now see those videos now and may, they complain as poor quality poor audio quality they don't even know what was youtube back then i don't say much to them but they don't even know what was youtube when we started so that was a big thing you know i i i used that camera there is no tripod no stand no amazon no flipkart no snap deal there was nothing like that i used to get that and i just uh, tie it with a rod and just hold it with some books that's how i record whenever there is a air blowing you can see my old videos it, it is blinking like this and i use that huge front tech headphone to record videos many people slang and use slang to say you're looking like a pilot and all but back then there was nothing now we have sophisticated device to record now we have 30 to 64 megapixel mobile camera back then there was no hd web camera even I I was having a point and shoot camera of Kodak. It was five thousand six hundred rupees of price. I used to record videos sometimes with that. So this is what uh, I started with. This is what we have, uh, had when we started. So that's how I started, and I believe like I need to make videos and more and more videos so that I can get at least one check every month. That was my my goal, and from the next month onward, I was capable to do that. and slowly people start to record start to watch the videos the record start recognition and most of the people are watching from outside india back then because indian people didn't know about youtube much didn't know about the idea that youtube can be used as a teaching media they people uh, only thought that youtube is used as a as a simply entertainment media but uh, back then the rate was very high means per 1000 views youtube used to pay a lot more than what it used to pay now back then youtube and uh, google paid me 4 dollar per 1000 videos now they pay 0.5 dollar per 1000 video think about it it's huge difference eight times less they pay right now what they pay you earlier because there was less creators now many people ask me about my uh, schooling and college and all these things i am very straight forward in terms of my career i don't you know uh, i don't attain many more things there are opportunities people start to get and attain seminars these or that to increase their cv i never did if you see my cv there's nothing special in it i just uh, completed my uh, uh, schooling from a local school of our uh, of our locality uh, from navagram vidyapeet and it was a bengali medium school uh, the high school and also the primary school also bengali medium high school is also bengali medium 
so primary school from class 1 to 4 and from class 5 to 12 in in nvp namakaram vidyapeet and afterwards uh, after 12 i uh, choose uh, microbiology graduation from brsnc barakpur rashtrakuru shurendra college that is in barakpur uh, that's also in west bengal and then afterwards i did my msc from st xavier's college so st xavier's is the only college which is in touch with something of convent and anything i didn't uh, belong to any other english medium cbs or any board i belong to bengal medium board with bengal medium school from primary to higher secondary and everything as well as in the graduation all bengal medium school and places that's what i did i never go to and went to any convent or any place and i still believe it's not required for you to develop your personality uh, to go into the convent and all uh, if any guardians are watching this video i can tell them one thing and and if you are watching the video you are going to be a guardian someday people are pushing uh, their children to go into the convent because they thought that they will learn english learn the personality learn the way to present but presentation is totally different art it's a totally different skill okay and also talking in english or any other subject is a totally different skill you can also build that uh, it's not necessarily that uh, you need to go into the english medium to do that you know when i went to st xavier's college if my college mates are watching the video my teachers are watching the video they also remember this thing that the first day when they tell me to you know tell people to explain about a topic because i was explaining even before that i was explaining in front of uh, my webcam in front of my mirror i was practicing since class 12 so when i did my first presentation uh, although there are like 99% of them came from convent or english medium schools and colleges but uh, my presentation was best among them at that moment the reason behind it is again i believe it's an art you need to develop it and if you are a good teacher if you can teach well if you can explain well you can explain anything any subject the answer to that is very simple you know when i uh, i was always thinking in my mind that i will do phd when i was in class 8 9 10 at the first time i fall in love with biology you know, when i did it i thought that this is my subject this is what i need to go for i knew what what i need to go for i didn't even sit for je okay many people told me my my earlier uh, school teacher uh, my biology teacher used to tell me why didn't you become a doctor you could have been a damn good doctor i said no i i don't want to go there i want to go to research that's why i didn't even sit for je i didn't even sit for medical I always focused on I in class 9 I knew that I'm going to take microbiology as a subject. I need to understand microbes, I need to understand the unhidden world. Okay. So I I went into it. I went into it swiftly. There's no problem. I scored well and go into different places. So at the time of masters, because that's the bridge course, you know, people do masters why? Because you want to do PhD. It's a bridge course which, between the graduation and the PhD. I did my masters. I appeared to NAIT. I qualified NAIT. First, I qualified uh, the LS, and then I also I qualified it twice later on. So when I qualified uh, NAIT uh, during my uh, masters itself, then at the end uh, we all need to do the summer training and projects. I was placed in uh, ISR Kolkata, and ISR Kolkata taught me to not to do PhD in India. I'm not. You know, if you are from Aizar Kolkata and places, I'm not blaming anybody. It's my personal opinion that I face from Aizar Kolkata and personal uh, lab that was in Structural Biology Lab. That experience, it was not a big time, two months only experience. That experience was enough for me to open my eyes regarding the research that is going on in India. You may think like many people may say, why I take decision based on only one experience? Maybe other places are good. Maybe, but it was so devastating for me. It was hugely devastating for me. I was severely depressed, and because I wanted to do work, I wanted to understand, and, and I wanted to learn new techniques and stuff. And what I saw in the lab, nothing is happening. Whenever the PI comes, people used to show that they are working, and whenever PI is not present, they are not doing any work. And actually, there is no work of such kind. Government is putting so much funding, and they are all in vain. At that moment, again, don't take it otherwise. If any uh, ISAR teachers and students are watching this, I thank ISAR for that because thank uh, you, them very much that I didn't go for PhD. Because if I went for PhD, Shomus Biology, 
would be a dream it will never be possible because if into a phd they will never allow me to record videos make videos i need to invest a lot of time into it so during isr studies i found out that yeah, i will never do phd i came back to my college and msc and i told my teacher that i am not going to do phd all the qualified need i am not going to do phd my teacher said uh, one thing very clearly i remember that uh, so what do you want to do i know you run a youtube channel i also know that you can get some money from that channel but is it the future can you do you want to make some money before phd i simply smile and say yeah you can think like that i want to make some money as well as not only money i want to take it forward because i i believe e learning is going to be the future and i was right e learning is the future many people have started channel in last 2 months of covid 19 pandemic almost 30 to 40 bali channels are formed now they are realizing the role of e learning and everybody is claiming that they are the best anyway i am not talking about any of that but the thing is e learning was the future i understood that during 2013 2014 and i pursue my career in making videos and i was earning a good salary a good amount from youtube back then a amount which will never be earned if i even go into phd more than what phd was offering back then 60000 and 80000 rupees 60000 for jrm 80000 for sr that's what they are offering there then it was high later on so then i thought you know after one after the msc is done after one or two years i thought of doing phd because then i realized the youtube is not the only thing that i should do in my life because what things can come and go youtube may come may go so what will happen to me because my age is passing by and we have two years validity of the net score so why not i am going for the phd i thought of going for a phd and then somehow uh, then students you know followers they contact they start contacting and telling me that start to open a batch of csr net coaching or things then i believed in okay let's start a batch i started an online batch with i think 20 25 students start an offline batch with four five students in kolkata and slowly after every six months i start to build up the batch and i start getting students you know i'm getting 80 100 150 200 250 that much of students interested in joining into the coaching so i start focusing on that only and i'm you know focusing whole energy in youtube videos as well as in coaching so i didn't get enough time to focus on phd so i postponed the phd idea and i'm also making money from the coaching as well so both these things are running now all together we are running the youtube channel and running the coaching as well as i'm running the video lecture as a study material series so i used to record the lectures i used to put them in in, in a in the dvd and i used to pack the dvd i used to ship the dvd with a courier all these things done by me then in 2015 end my girlfriend now my wife chandrima bachi joined me and uh, both together modification and after she joined me we did, we don't even need to look back what started my first because we stay we we learn together we study together uh, during our bsc during our msc then in kolkata we started and when she joined in 2015 always she used to take the responsibility for the shipment dvd package as well as the coaching part so i can focus totally into the youtube channel and she took a huge load off my head of my shoulders so from then till now she is looking the whole coaching and the whole study material section which is huge and a single person is managing that whole portion i don't even know how she manages that much i'm not that much of a steady guy to do that and i only do the recording and stuff so right now actually in shomus balaji company if you think she is doing more work than what i do i simply record videos but i get more praise from the students because i am the front person she is the back person because she is the structure of shomus balaji right now on which the videos are actually uh, forming so i like to thank her 
and also I'll introduce uh, her into this video as well. She never want to come into the video. She always said that why and it's your channel you go to the video. I, I, it's very fair. It's very few people who can say this. Like I'll do everything from the background. I'll stay in the background. I'll never come to front. You do everything in the front, but supporting you from the background. It's a huge thing. You need a big heart to do that. And. What, that's uh, what she is doing from 2015. She has been working in different industrial places. So she had some industrial experiences earlier. She had some back office experiences, QC experiences. So she also helped me in making those career oriented videos because she had worked in different places earlier. So she used to work uh, with me as well as the other uh, places. And then I told in 2016 that leave that place because now the load is increasing of CSN net coaching in Shomus Biology. So she left that job and she joined full time to Shomus Biology. And right now uh, we build the Shomus Biology coaching, which is loved by many and also the study materials. We are making it better and better day by day. What would I say? YouTube gave me everything. Uh, I mean, uh, from the financial stability to uh, the fame that I needed uh, when people, when I go outside, people recognize me and they take selfie. That that much of fame that I received, and also the the love, the respect that I received from my viewers, everything. YouTube gave me the way to live, and I cannot thank enough YouTube regarding it. Although I made more money from coaching rather than YouTube, but still, YouTube is the launching pad that the the platform where I perform. And people liked it then uh, that's the only reason uh, we grow till this point at this moment and this 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 home this house that that uh, we bought earlier last year it's, it's a flat that I bought last uh, year uh, is also with YouTube money so yes uh, if you believe like you may have heard stories that people buy cars people buy house with YouTube money yeah it is truth I buy I, I bought my car I bought my house my own flat uh, apartment all these things with YouTube money and I cannot say like YouTube money because all over YouTube give me something but uh, YouTube acting as a launching pad I use YouTube to build coaching institute I use YouTube as a launching pad to build and sell study materials which give me even further uh, amount of uh, money as well as recognition and that's why I thank YouTube very much very 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 much not only me but thousands and thousands of creators got benefit from YouTube and it is possible uh, without YouTube, it was it will never be possible because still in India, if you want to teach, if you teach well, your college, uh, if you go for an interview to a college and you say that I uh, I can teach well and if you teach well, uh, they are not going to see whether you teach well and they will hire. No, they are going to see your CV and a lot of contacts and all and all details and then uh, they will not recruit you. I've been rejected from uh, one to three different places earlier, but now uh, there are many places who offered me to teach there uh, and they offered me uh, any price that I that I quote but I, I didn't go for them because at the time when I was new, I was young, I didn't know about anything, I was starting I started only alone and my wife joined in we are both who started this journey together nobody was there to help us, nobody was there to notice us I remember I, I sent, uh, you know Notice when I had 5,000 subscriber, 10,000 subscriber. At that moment, 30, 40,000 subscriber. I sent notification to uh, different uh, co colleges, teachers that I have this channel. You know, uh, I want to go for a talk, at least one, uh, 40 minutes, one class only to your students regarding CSR net to to spread the awareness regarding CSR net. Remember, uh, I do this in West Bengal only. Almost, I I send this email to 30, 40 different colleges. Only two, three colleges replied, and among them, two said no, and one said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll think about that." And then I replied uh, that college two, three times, no response came. There are actually, I told you earlier, uh, there are two people who are running Shomus Biology entirely from the start. One is me, and another one is my wife. We both jointly run Shomus Biology right now. I started the channel and then my wife joined me, uh, Chandrima Bachchi. She joined me with uh, the coaching uh, from 2015. Uh, so she used to take care of all the coaching queries and coaching related issues as well as the study material issues. And then I am uh, focusing on my video and content creation. 
So there are these two domain of uh, Shomus Bali. Right now there are three, four multi domains, and it's immense load of work that uh, we both need to do, and even more uh, need to be done by her as well. So what you see here as a structure of Shomus Biology, I am the front person, so you can see me in the videos. You can see my face in the videos. Many people ask me like when they contact Shomus Biology, like a lady picks up the phone and uh, why not, sir? The thing is, you know, uh, there are two people working here. One is in the front line, where you can see it, like me, and uh, the other one is my wife working from behind. But that work is huge. It's actually the structure which is holding Shomus Biology right now. So it's a lot of groundwork that needs to be done. And many times I told her to be online, to be with you, as as she is also MSc Microbiology. Uh, she never into she never showed interest into coaching and all, but she is uh, into the you know counselling of the students, involving them in CSI net coaching and also helping them for every single part of the journey from the start of the coaching to the end. As well as if you inquire about the study material, she will get the call and do all the details with you. So still in today's video, I I told her to be in today's video because uh, her contribution to Shomus Biology is immensely deep. Uh, but still, she refused to, to be present in this video. She never wants to come in front. Uh, there are some people, you know, who uh, want publicity, but some people who don't want publicity. She is one of that kind who, the, who never wants publicity and work from behind. But actually, the, the amount of work she is doing uh, is never clear to the common people because they all see me working here. But actually, all the background support is provided by her. So. These are the two people is actually uh, running Shomus Biology, and the third thing is all the viewers, all of you who is watching my video right now, who have watched my video at any point of their time in their career, or will be watching in the futures. So now about uh, my hurdles uh, when I was uh, creating this channel. This is my hurdle of creating the channel and also applying for the AdSense and all because there was no restrictions. But yes, there were problems, as I told you earlier. Uh, I, when I started in 2012, then I need to make the videos in English because uh, there was a global audience. Because there were a global audience, and uh, I cannot make my, the videos in Hindi because I don't know how to speak Hindi. As well as uh, if I make the video in my mother tongue, that is Bengali, then 90% of Indians can't even understand. So it was a big challenge for me to uh, record the videos in English. And then publish them, and because there was, you know, all the big channels there are English English uh, language channels. So I need to learn how to do that. I I need to improve my English speaking skills. I'm still improving my English speaking skills because I uh, came from a Bengali medium background. So uh, until uh, class 11, we didn't even be introduced to writing in English. So we, so this kind of situation. If you are from Bengali medium or English Hindi medium, then you may know. Uh, what a big deal it is for a Bengali or Hindi medium student to speak in English fluently and to, to communicate with the world when uh, we want to explain such complicated mechanisms. That was one of the biggest challenge earlier which I need to overcome. And the second thing that I need to overcome is all the issues related to the time management because I was growing my channel. The, the biggest time where I, my channel was growing is my MSc days, Masters and doing Masters from St. Xavier's College. Those who have done, they know this college is just like a school, you won't get that much of time and there are exams almost every single day and a huge pressure is there. So for all these things, uh, it's very difficult to manage time because again, the college is 30, 32 kilometers away from my home. So I need to take train, bus, cycling and all these things to reach college and again come back with the same process. So almost 12 to 14 uh, hours uh, taken for that process and coming back to home and then I need to read the things for my semester and also record them in the video. That was the toughest challenge and again I told you at that tough time uh, there were very few who left behind to support me because you know uh, some friends were there uh, as well as uh, my friend then my girlfriend now my wife uh, she was there uh, we had also sometimes problems related to that relationship problems arise due to the lack of time management uh, issues but still ultimately uh, we hold together uh, we never broke up and we continue our journey through that process through that time when i recorded 2000 videos in 
in one and a half year it's a huge feat think about three to four videos every single day and uh, those who make videos in youtube knows how to like making four videos a day and uploading them every single day it's not that easy job as it sounds so uh, that's why this was the these two things are the biggest uh, difficulties that i faced earlier and afterwards other things are quite fine uh, i used to go and the third thing is also about the money at the very beginning i cannot invest in uh, most of the things because i don't have that much of money i cannot borrow that much of money so i need to apply for scholarship when i get the money i i buy some things for my uh, my computer because you know you need to have good computer you need to have software you need to have a uh, good hardware like pen tablet you need to have this webcam and all these things so i upgrade things when i start earning money from youtube but at the very beginning i started with the computer with uh, the uh, dual core processor intel and uh, 2gb ram only i started making videos with that only so if you have the intent to make videos you can make it in anything because at this moment i don't have that much of a good mobile phone which i can use to record videos because i don't have this kind of smartphones back then Uh, I have received tons of good comments, and actually receiving maximum comments that I received are good comments uh, in the YouTube, personally in the Facebook and different places. Either there are questions or good comments, and also there are bad comments. Uh, there are always uh, some people who will admire you, always some people who will hate you, and that's quite good, quite quite good. And we need both kind of people to do with that. So there are plenty of good comments, particularly in the last video when I uh, told people to share the Somos Bhaiji stories. I received more than 500 stories, and we are shortlisting the stories. That's why I'm I'm not declaring the winner right now because 500 comments we need to go through, and then find out three people to whom we will be giving this. So that's why we need to, need some time. And this support from the students, the good comments from our viewers, always keep us pushing to do what we didn't do earlier. So one step better, one step better, one step better. That's how we go forward. That's why the good comments are always acting like. you know uh, the fuel uh, into our uh, learning process while making more videos and regarding the bad comments i also thank those who put bad comments and criticism sometimes there are constructive criticism some sometimes there are simply downgrade criticism both kind of people are there uh, people uh, criticize for different reasons if there are constructive criticism there are possibility of constructive criticism there are places where people can criticize me because i as i told you my i started this channel not as a you know core channel of making videos i started this channel as a media to make videos when i was a student i started making the videos so there are earlier videos where i made a lot of mistakes you know many mistakes are there i agree on that fact and uh, when i when anybody replied uh, in the comments that these are the mistakes or many people say yeah this is the mistake if we can fix that previously with annotation we can fix that right now we cannot fix it so i delete this kind of videos we have deleted more than 3 400 videos like that and we updated new version of that sometimes what happen when we make the videos we sometimes uh, slip up tongue happens because so many things are going on in in the in the mind you know i, I was so busy throughout the week we have through two days of online coaching one days of classroom coaching and then uh, there are two days of uh, this video recording editing and all these things everything is done by me and my wife only so it's huge pressure so sometimes what happens you know many silly mistakes are also also there so if people are pointing out a mistake and we think yes yeah, legit mistake and we can fix it we definitely go and fix it fast as fast as we can but there are sometimes diminishing comments which is just to use slang and saying things and this thing is increasing after geo revolution when people say like angrez ka ola or things like that when we make videos in english because they don't understand anything actually those people who use slang they are good for nothing so you don't reply to them as well because you need to understand one thing this channel somos biology channel 46% people are watching it from outside of india 54% is watching it inside of india so if i make the videos in hindi even in india south indian people are the most loyal fan base that we have okay i got the maximum respect from two places one is south india any places of south india and second one is pakistan and to be honest i get maximum negative reply from kolkata itself although i am a bengali and kolkata is also a place for bengali i receive maximum negative comment from bengali only this is what i uh, should share because these are the facts that that i that i receive maximum loyal fan base i got from south india that's why i keep on making video in english because 
they find it difficult understanding in hindi and they are so loyal i i like them so much uh, they help us i mean they stay with us from the starting of this channel till now there are uh, people who are helping me and the pakistanis and they are like there is not a single bad comment i received from a pakistan and there are plenty of viewers from pakistan they regularly watch my channel and they like they always are there in my facebook some many of them are, are of my facebook friends from pakistan bangladesh both places they they always admire and they always give even though even though they criticize they criticize in a constructive manner in the way like sir this is a thing you may uh, find it uh, i think it's not the thing so i go back there and yeah if it's right i fix it so i always get this thing but i always get a negative reply from bengali i don't know the reason behind it but this is the nature of bengali i think to have a conflict between themselves it have this may happens you know this is the observation that i have here but again uh, this is a big question to all of us like why i don't make videos maximum videos in hindi because first of all i don't i am not good in hindi hindi is not my mother tongue and second thing english is also is not my mother tongue but with english i can reach to maximum people okay but i don't need uh, to use hindi to reach to those people who use slang okay so that's why i don't make more videos in hindi i make more videos in english and i will continue to make more videos in english now how i cope up with this criticism the thing is you know when i started this channel uh, people used to watch it from outside of india and they start watching the channel you know at that time there was no competition there was no much channel so whenever they find one or two channels they are always okay with it and they say yeah this is a they, so the negative comments are less now the negative comments are high many people put a negative comment because you make the video in english they said we are angry scholar this is a bad dated mentality that all those people are facing so it's my request with this video as well to them that if somebody is making a video in english they are not angry scholar you need to understand a thing with english a channel where 46% people are outside of india you need to make a video in english okay and second thing those who believe hindi is our national language you are wrong you cannot give me a proof that in hindi is our national language there is no national language in india every single language has the equal weightage in a national level in india so get your facts correct first okay and the third thing i don't bother about that much because if there are 10 negative comments i would have 1000 positive comments my channel has a overall average of 95% positive comment overall or 5% negative comment that means thumbs down 5% thumbs up 95% so there are very less negative comments i receive so if they are constructive i read them i read them obviously I, I, if they are constructive and something i need to change i i think about that and i do the change and if i think like it's just to just for jealousy and all i just leave it because i don't need to have time to invest my time what is my future plan the thing is you know shomus biology is not a coaching institute many people now may think like shomus biology is csr coaching institute but it's not shomus biology is created with this idea to share the biological science information and to popularize biological science to keep it alive in india because in pre present times from coronavirus pandemic people should know more about life science should know more about microbiology biotechnology and all this biological science field so this is my idea in future times i have multiple projects one of such project project is to make a free platform and a paid platform both for students of every single life science discipline zoology botany physiology microbiology biotechnology human physiology biostatistics bioinformatics to complete their graduation and masters whole syllabus graduation master syllabus course and that will be delivered with our shomus biology app our app is almost ready and we are making it ready it may take one or more, more one or two more months to make it ready and we we'll start to deliver the courses with very nominal fees and you can get through your graduation and masters with the help of these courses we are forming a team and we are working to make 1000 hours of video lectures covering every single discipline of biology covering every single thing about the biological science for graduation and post graduation and the second important thing is about my personal language for my bengali people because what i feel those who are watching those who are bengali people watching right now the students watching right now my offline students 
now maximum people are pushing their uh, children uh, to the convent or english medium school so bengali medium schools are not that much famous i want to make them famous i want to make them i, I want to prove a point that your children can speak fluent english even reading in a bengali medium school even learning even better understanding with every single subject in a bengali medium school with a proper training and that's what we want to build we want to build a platform which will contain from class 5 to class 12 every single chapter every single subject bengali english history geography physical science life sciences every single subject video lectures in an open portal that is another of my project and i'm going to tie up with some of the schools i am not i have not started it yet so we are forming again a team and we will be contacting schools and we will be contacting some uh, good teachers for that purpose and we'll forming that because we know in future times the e learning is going to be the real deal so we are going to do that in futures so that these two things is my uh, future thing and the third thing is about my youtube channel i'm also going to continue with some hindi videos for those who can't understand english well and also making more videos about topics that were old like bio statistics bio informatics human physiology which were old plant physiology there are very few videos in my channel with plant physiology so i'll be making more videos about plant physiology human physiology those things in my channel in this future times in this future years along with that i'm also continuing with this career videos i'll be also continuing with this human health and test related videos in my channels tip for new youtubers the thing is you know uh, after i created this channel there are many channels formed influenced by my channel and when you get and get to see that people are influenced by you it's a direct influence you know because earlier there was khan academy and there was this black screen that is a trademark of khan academy then there are uh, bosman science where uh, there's a powerpoint and a small screen the side that was a trademark of bosman science now my trademark was old school i use a white board and a marker that's all i use you know because i believe still believe that when you use a board and a marker and you start writing in and filling that whole board it gives you much better understanding of a concept that's why always our power, our our live whiteboard videos are better than our powerpoint videos because i still believe whiteboard videos and blackboard videos are better so after i created that there are like 30 40 channels created they all use this board and the way of my teaching style and they personally many people have texted me and tell that yes you are a, you are my inspiration you are our inspiration with great channel i also congratulate them about their uh, channel creation and during this lockdown period last two two months i think there are almost 20 to 30 channels are created new and all are doing this similar kind of thing and they also name their channel with their name just like shomus biology there are this a is biology b is biology c is biology so they are naming it and there are some channels who even copy my logo and uh, i didn't do anything you know uh, i am a very a person who is not believe in this kind of cutthroat competition like that what i believe in is that if you are delivering something it will be yours if i am delivering something is mine you cannot teach like me you may teach better than me you may teach worse than me but you cannot teach just like me that is mine so if you like my teaching then my followers my fan base is going to be with me so i never sue them i, I never uh, pursue those channels and things you know if i if i tell you to they can take them down but i don't do that uh, people may think like you know competition rising and doing this stuff it's not but you know it's 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 hurting when when i see people who, who created these channels and they are copying things from my site and my thing and they are not notifying me that bugs me off that bugs me off and then i i, I tell them still i don't take any step but tell them you know it's not right if you are doing something that you can ask me at least you can ask me that i am using this or i am using that uh, that's fine to it because it's a revolution that we we want to create okay as i told you the same thing you cannot teach exactly like me you may teach better than me you may teach worse than me but cannot teach exactly like me that's my flavor and my flavor is going to be present in every single video that i make so that's why i don't uh, don't don't indulge in this kind of competition and uh, so what i want to say to this new youtubers that are coming in many more youtubers are going to come in the edu education field particularly i'm not going to talk about the other fields because you know obviously youtube was predominantly is a media for entertainment still it's a medium for entertainment 
but the medium for education is increasing day by day uh, in in youtube there are big education channels are formed and particularly now the modern days the education channel which are being formed are forming as a professional basis they are forming from the day one with a professional basis utilizing all the team and all the logo and t-shirts and all these things put together so they are not starting the way that we begin because we learned and we adapted everything when the youtube evolved with us so we evolved along with the youtube itself but nowadays people just start the channel they use white hat seo black hat seo gray hat seo anyway to list their channels and doing stuff like that but what i want to say is that if you are opening a education channel now it's fine it's not a, it's not saturated yet but it will be saturated within one or two years it's it is already saturated in neat section for csi net it will be saturating in one or one and a half year after that there is nothing new in this field okay there will be saturation of everything everybody will be selling their study material everybody will be providing their coaching and all these things and people will find it really difficult to believe in any one coaching compared to the other so what you need to do obviously you need to go for look for something which is old enough to have the authority and weightage to join you so if you are opening a new channel what i will say is that do not keep youtube as your only source of income keep in your mind YouTube right now it's in the top side for a video sharing platform but Facebook is also equally growing with video sharing platform as a video sharing platform so may in future maybe something other company will come because you know who thought orkut will go orkut is is gone then facebook take over orkut and who says that something xyz company will take over facebook or or, or youtube in the future times so you need to be able to adapt yourself to the changing environment to survive in it and second thing there will be a lot of competition in future and third thing uh, you should not use youtube as your only source okay so you start yourself with youtube launch yourself with youtube and once you launch with yourself with youtube then use this launching platform as a marketing platform and drive your customer into your other business which is independent of youtube okay which can give you money in the real time situation in real conditions so that's what i should tell Uh, to the young youtubers who are aspiring to be youtubers and you want to teach them because in life science field what's happening is that after phd many people are not getting job so they are opening csi net coaching institutes and that's what's happening there are csi net coaching institutes in every single locality every, every single uh, flat there is a coaching institute right now and it will be increasing day by day in upcoming 2 3 years csi net uh, coaching market will be saturated fully earlier there are only few right now there are already uh, thousands and uh, all this thing like right now it's not thousand net thing is some some hundreds but there will be thousands uh, within few years because they are not getting the job they want so they are now directly going into the education on all, all thing i think youtube need to change their policy youtube is changing policy almost every single month using youtube need, need to change its policy for future times so that youtube should not treat education channel along a same way as they treat an entertainment channel or a comedy channel or a you know technical channel because you know in education 1 million is huge compared to 1 million in a comedy channel i think you all agree with this in comedy all over india every single people is watching it but this is a shomus bali this is a biology channel it's restricted to not only science but only one field is biology and that is of a higher second uh, level that is of a graduation and master level biology and in that field we are reaching 1 million that means almost all and every single people from graduation and masters are watching this channel so 1 million in this education field equivalent to 10 million or more compared to the subscription in the comedy or other entertainment field I strongly believe that. I believe you also believe that. This is the idea. So, so YouTube should not treat these channels in the same way. The authority YouTube should put a one million educational channel should be way more than the one million comedy channel or one million technical channel because it's very easy to get one million for those channels, but it's really difficult to get one million for a education channel, particularly where the education channel is based on only one subject and that of the higher higher study subjects. Okay. So that's why uh, I think that's uh, the idea that I think is uh, for the future. So that's uh, kind of it because you know this video is big enough. If you continue to watch the video, if you are at this point, if you have uh, said, like 
watch that complete video then i should tell you that thank you very very much one more time and also stay with us just like the way you stayed with us till now and we'll be reaching 10 million with your help with your support and also leave us comment about uh, the how what kind of videos you want to see in future so that we can make those kind of videos for you in the future thank you very much bye